What's up, El Segundo? I'm Natasia Gascon, and I'm back at the El Segundo Museum of Art, which has been transformed from floor to ceiling into an immersive Hollywood experience by the Academy Award-winning production designer, Rick Carter. The newest exhibition at ISMOA is Experience 51, Time, a project by artist and Hollywood production designer, Rick Carter, who designed the sets and other visual elements for big-budget movies such as Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Avatar, Forrest Gump, and Star Wars, just to name a few. The experience features Carter's iconic paintings, drawings, and memorabilia collection. But the main focus is on the stunning collage that covers the entire museum, made up of individual works of art by eight Los Angeles artists, who were all inspired by the famous films that Carter helped bring to life. The El Segundo uh, Museum of Art, ISMOA, is a very special place because it's not only a, a, a place where you see old artifacts or, or ways that uh, art have existed in the past, but it's almost a laboratory for how to invent in the present tense. ISMOA uh, Experience 51 is called Time. The curator, uh, Bernard uh, Zuckler, he had this idea that the work that I've done in movies in particular somehow emotionalized the time periods that are experienced in those diff different movies. It can go all the way back to a mosquito biting a T-Rex and then bringing it forth in Jurassic Park or going a long time ago far, far away in Star Wars or an Avatar into the future. So here the opportunity was not only to do a retrospective of my own work but also to engage local artists who painted all these amazing murals that you see and I thought that, that was a real opportunity to not make it about an old guy telling you what it was like in the past only but also to expand into the present tense and with a whole new group of people who actually have tremendous energy and inspiration about the different movies I've worked on. Rick came in and explained to us all these movies that he had worked on and that we were gonna kind of be able to use as images to, to paint and portray around the area. A lot of movies, a lot of these movies are pretty important, so it was cool to have the opportunity to work with, with these films and with someone who worked on all these films. Yeah. I knew that I had a lot of pressure going on when I was doing this, this thing, so I really tried to block everything out, and by little by little I was just like, wow, I can't believe that I'm being a part of what he, what he has been a part of when I was a kid. So it kind of reminded me of my little stuff, of childhood stuff. So I was so excited, but at the same time I was trying to block things off and just be professional. Focused. Yeah. <laughs> it's all open to uh, perspective, I guess. For me, or the, that's just the way that I would see time. It's just, it's very open to interpretation. Like time is what we make it. And so movies take time to make, they take time to watch. This show took time to put together. And it's a cool way of in, uh, intertwining everything with just the concept of time right now. Initially people are a little overwhelmed so they come in and they come back out and they're like what am I looking at? So I just let them know you know that this is a retrospective of sorts for the production designer Rick Carter, give them a little bit of his backstory and then I think that the, the overall feeling of people who come out of this space is like inspiration. I think they are just really inspired by the outpouring of art that we have in the space and how beautifully all these artists collaborated together. Rick's just an incredibly inspiring individual who's really good at getting people into a room and getting them excited about a project. You know, he's a master world builder and he's able to take us out of our homes and our traditional spaces. And, you know, I think that's all we want right now, just to be able to envision, you know, a different, bigger world outside of, you know, our homes that we've been kind of huddled up in for the past two years. If you come here into this exhibition at ESMOA, you can have an experience, and if you find that it's flowing naturally, that you just enter in and you see one thing and another, and it excites and inspires you, then that's wonderful. If for some reason you find that you can't take it all in, then just go sit down on the Forrest Gump bench, take a deep breath, think about the box of chocolates that life is, and just look up and look at something. Then look at another 
piece of chocolate and another piece of chocolate and just enjoy the breadth of what's in this room that's represented by these great filmmakers of Steven Spielberg, Bob Zemeckis, Jim Cameron and J.J. Abrams because their vision has really informed a lot of what we see in our culture today. Well, there you have it, folks. Come by to the El Segundo Museum of Art and experience the magic of Hollywood for yourself. For El Segundo Media, I'm Natasia Gascon. Thank you.